1980s when Tamil Nadu government was keen to bring students to school by introducing midday meals. And then in 1984, a seed was sown at the Palni Hills, Kodai Canal, now which have turned into a huge tree named Mother Teresa Women's University. This was the first women's university in the Tamil Nadu and also it aims to extend its service to women students of all communities with the motto of empowerment of women through education. It strives for academic excellence and personality development and gives equal importance to the promotion of employment prospects to the young girls. Formerly from Dodarshan and All India Radio. I have a long association with the media, almost 35 years. Also, I was an alumni of this uh, institute, Mother Teresa University, in the year 2003 in the Department of Communication, but that was in Kudaikana. I enjoyed every minute of this institute and I love coming to the university as and when an opportunity comes. And uh, we had several uh, association with the media as well as the university in the years to come. It has grown so much and uh, the department of communication, especially women communicators, the need for the women communicators is growing day by day because now with everything as a digital media, the representation of the women in the correct perspective can come only with the help of women communicators. Not only the person who is speaking or the communicator, it also includes the technical people, the, the complete structure of your yeah, <coughs> communication paraphernalia. So the department is doing wonderful job in this area where the newer media and its demands for communication is growing more and more every day. I wish the department all the best in their endeavors. I am Dr. D. Nivedita. I studied in the year 2009 in Mother Teresa University. Currently, I am working in Pondicherry Central University as Associate Professor. And as on now, I have 10 years of experience in this university. I have produced 8 PhDs within 10 years time. What Mother Teresa given me, I have to mention. It has restored the faith in humanity. It is one of the most beautiful feeling that the university has given me. It has helped me reach in within myself by reaching out. Being an alumni of the university, it's not just being competent, confident and hardworking, but also consciousness and compassionate. Certainly, this university has made me more capable and independent. This is a university where the professors have the freedom to create a learning environment where students can nurture their own potential. The teachers too excel, yet give back to the society. How much you can get from this university is only limited to the students' faith in the college and the teachers. For me, the university designed my destination. It has always encouraged my effort and believing me. It has also taught, my, taught me life lessons. It has also taught me life lessons. They are giving wisdom to women who are going to be the future of tomorrow, who are going to hold the strong positions. They are teaching us not just to take something from the college, but also give back to the society. Therefore, 
my message to all is to make compassion a primary emotion make it a part of us globalized empathy capitalized compassion thank you everyone i am honored to be there hi my name is gitanjali and i'm an associate director in malayalam film industry uh so uh, despite this being the 21st century we still hear about the atrocities towards women like a uh, marital rapes domestic violence child marriages etc and uh, this is where the need for women empowerment or empowering of women arises empowering of women basically means uh, making them independent making them capable of uh, deciding for themselves and living a life according to their decisions and i feel the key factor to attaining a uh, women empowerment is providing them with education when i say education i mean a uh, higher education if we look into the statistics uh, we can understand that the number of girls who drop out after school is more than the number of boys it's because many parents in india still consider their daughters to be a burden so uh, soon after their school or even when they are school they are just married off at a very young age and these women or these girls uh, are confined to the four walls of their kitchen for the rest of their life and even if something wrong happens to them if they are abused in a marriage or abused by their parents they don't even have the capability of understanding that what is happening to them is wrong with higher education we can make them aware of their rights and how to use it and if uh, when something wrong happens to them then they understand that what is happening to them is not right also with higher education their exposure can be widened which in turn can open doors to more opportunities higher education can help them attain a job and which in turn can make them financially independent having a job and being financially independent are the major steps to making a women empowered so i definitely feel that higher education has a huge impact on empowering women especially in the rural uh, parts of india anivarkum vanakkam enudi veer shubhas asendra na papua new guinea lerundu pesugiren na vandu inga vandu women entrepreneur na inga hamama trading nu solittu ஒரு பிஸ்னஸ் வச்சுருக்குறோம் ரீட்டைல் சூப்பர் மார்க்கெட் அதை ரன் பண்ணிகிட்ருக்குறோம் எனக்கு வந்து ரொம்ப சந்தோஷம் இது மதர் தெரசா யூனிவர்சிட்டியிலேருந்து கனெக்ட் பண்ணுறது ஏன்னா நான் வந்து மதர் தெரசா யூனிவர்சிட்டியோட ஓல்ட் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் நைன்டீன் பேட்ச் ஐ டிட் மை ட்ராவல் அண்ட் டூரிசம் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் அண்ட் ஒரு த்ரீ மந்த்ஸ் தான் அதுக்கப்புறம் வந்து ஐ வென் ஃபார் மை கமர்ஷியல் பைலட் லைசன்ஸ் அதனால் என்னால் கன்யூ பண்ண முடியல and most important is um, enoda uh, i think miss fresher award vaangana nenikira 1999 la um, so ipo na idhan mooliyama ella paingalukku sollikiradhu enna appdin sonna ella thuraigalaiyume innikku vande pengal vande vetri adaindha maari kaatnalum illa namma vande achieve pannirukiradhu verum vande 35 சதவீதம் மட்டும்தான் முப்பத்தஞ்சு டு நாற்பது சதவீதம் மட்டும்தான் இன்னும் நம்ம வந்து நம்மளை சுற்றி இருக்கிற எல்லா பெண்களையும் முன்னேற்றி அதாவது ஏற்கனவே முன்னேறின சில பெண்கள் அவங்கள சுற்றி இருக்கிறவங்களையும் முன்னேற்றி அதை ஒரு எண்பது எண்பத்தஞ்சு விழுக்காடு நம்ம எல்லாருமே சக்ஸஸ்ஃபுல் ஆகி எல்லாருமே சந்தோஷமாக இருந்தால் அது உண்மையான வந்து பெண்களோடைய ஒரு முன்னேற்றமாக கருதப்படும் Hello, I am Dr. Rita Jam, Professor and Head of the Department of Theoretical Physics, University of Madras. I am also the Director of the International Center of the University of Madras. I am happy to record that I am the first science faculty to be appointed under UGC in the Department of Physics at the Mother Teresa Women's University. I am extremely happy to share some of my Uh, traditional moments uh, in the premises of the Mother Teresa University. And I as the first science faculty, uh, Dr. Anandalili Mahadevan, uh, the dynamic uh, vice chancellor uh, who initiated the science programs in the university. Uh, she was very much encouraging and uh, under her leadership, I could uh, personally uh, take initiative and uh, establish three different uh, labs. Uh, 
electronics and general physics lab and we could also develop microprocessor lab and the research work also we could initiate within two years. So I joined in February 2004. By 2005 we were able to initiate a young full program and also PhD program subsequently. And I could guide around uh, 10 or 12 uh, young full scholars during my tenure, uh, which was uh, till uh, the 15th of March 2008. Though it was a very short period, I am very much satisfied by establishing the labs, initiating MPhil course, initiating PhD program, guiding more than 10 MPhil scholars, and I could complete guiding five PhD research scholars who got their degree from the Mother Teresa Women's University. Mother Teresa Women's University holds a special place both in the state and in the country. The reason for this is when uh, there was a felt need to start specific universities as women's universities, the idea was to reach out and provide access to students, especially women students. And quite interestingly, we can put it within two different frameworks. On the one hand, the Towards Equality Report forced everyone to look at the need for making the equality even in the sphere of education. Everyone, and this is Saumya, working as a senior programmer at Amazon. Women play an important role in society and a whole family is dependent on women for its daily activities. They play the role of mother, wife, homemaker, cook, teacher, friend, nurse, all at the same time while quartering to everybody's need. The women who are in job have to also fulfill the job responsibilities while managing home and family. Quality education is the key to women's empowerment. Slowly, with the increase in literacy level and awareness, society has started giving importance to education. Many parents today want to educate their daughters equally as their son. Many women today are scientists, lecturers, software engineers and bureaucrats. Mother Teresa Women's University is providing an ultimate service educating and empowering women for all social status. I wish all the stakeholders of Mother Teresa Women University a successful future. Thank you.